Good morning, this is Doug from the National Weather Service in Norman, Oklahoma. This briefing updates our current forecast for the winter weather expected across the area today and tonight. A nice storm warning has been issued for portions of North Texas and southwest and central Oklahoma, where significant ice accumulations will be possible today and tonight. In adjacent areas, a winter weather advisory is in effect for the remainder of northern and western Oklahoma for freezing rain changing to sleet and snow. A winter weather advisory is also in effect for portions of central and south central Oklahoma, where periods of freezing rain are expected, but temperatures may be warm enough that precipitation falls as rain at times as well. The current forecast is for ice accumulation of one quarter to one half of an inch on power lines, trees, and bridges across western North Texas and into southwest and central Oklahoma. There is still some uncertainty on where the most significant icing will occur and also on ice accumulation amounts, especially in the Oklahoma City metro area, so continue to monitor our website through the day. In the western part of the area, including El Reno, Cordell, Hobart, Altus, and Kroll, ice accumulations will occur on many roads. Further east, on where temperatures are a little warmer, icing of roads will be more patchy, but still will cause problems, especially on bridges and overpasses. Regardless, the ice will impact travel across much of the area today and tonight. Temperatures are expected to be warm enough in the Ardmore, Ada, Seminole, and Durant areas that precipitation is expected to fall as rain. Although freezing rain will begin this morning, the freezing rain will be most significant this evening and tonight. As colder air moves into the area, the freezing rain will change to sleet and then snow across northern Oklahoma tonight and early Saturday. Snow accumulations of 2 to 4 inches will be possible in northwestern Oklahoma, and some light accumulations may be seen across other areas of northern and western Oklahoma. With the ice comes impacts to travel, road conditions will likely deteriorate and become slick and hazardous, especially in western north Texas and southwest Oklahoma. If you must travel today, be sure to check the forecast and road conditions across the region. The best way to prevent getting into a winter accident is not driving in adverse conditions. Unfortunately, some of us may have to travel, and if you're one of these people, prepare now by making sure you have an emergency kit in your car, and always drive carefully and use your best judgment. This concludes our winter weather briefing for uh, Friday morning. Please check our webpage frequently, as the forecast will likely change through the day. If you happen to be traveling, be sure to check out the Weather Service office that serves that area for the latest forecast. Thanks again for tuning in.